What's going on guys? It's that guy with movies back here again. Today we're going to be doing another unboxing here. This time it's going to be on the Blu-ray plus DVD plus digital combo pack of Overlord. So without further ado, we'll get started right now. So of course, what's included in the package up there. And we have the cover art right here, which is kind of cluttered. I wish they could have just stuck with how they did the 4K cover, like with the blood droplets and like, but it's like the plane and the parachutes and that. I think that's a cool cover, but instead we have this really like cluttered um, cover right here. We have a quote here from Chris N Nashawadi from Entertainment Weekly saying, Unrelentingly tense, it's a ton of fun. And there is no embossing on this slipcover right here. It is uh, completely flat. So we'll turn it on to the side here. Just our Paramount logo, Overlord, and then we have two disc set, Blu-ray disc, and DVD logo. So that's what the side looks like. And pretty much the same thing on the other side. So now we'll take a look at the back here. We have another quote here from Katie Walsh of the Los Angeles Times saying it's a wild ride. And if you guys have not seen Overlord yet, you guys probably should because it's a really overlooked movie. But uh, you guys can pause and read that if you want. There's just the description of what the movie's about. And not a whole lot of, uh, you know, screenshots from the movie on the back here. So now we'll take a look at our bonus features on, you know, disc one. Disc one is the Blu-ray feature film plus special features. Go behind enemy lines with action-packed bonus content. Brothers in Arms, Death Above, Death Below, and more. And for disc two, we just have the DVD feature film. So not a whole lot included here. Actually, they don't just tell you a whole lot about what's included in the package. But of course, we do have our digital movie here as well. So now we'll take a look at our specifications here. So for the Blu-ray feature film, 1080p high definition, widescreen aspect ratio is probably 239 to 1. And we have an English Dolby Atmos track. So at least that's pretty good that... Paramount does maintain the Atmos tracks on the Blu-rays as well. They did that with Mission Impossible Fallout as well. And I hope they do that when Bumblebee comes out. As well as, whoa, as well as a French 5.1 Dolby Digital and a Spanish 5.1 Dolby Digital, Portuguese 5.1 Dolby Digital, and English audio description for subtitles. We have English, English subtitles with the deaf and hard of hearing, French, Spanish, and Portuguese. And, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, 2018 color, and it is 109 minutes. So... 11 minutes shy of two hours so we'll just put that there and here it is without the slipcover or anything special like that just not really a whole lot but now we will unwrap this here just take my knife here and we'll just slit it among the side <clears throat> so have you guys oh wait hold on all right there we go so have you guys seen overlord uh leave me a comment down below and tell me what you thought of it I'll let you guys know what I thought of it in a couple minutes here, but here it is all unwrapped and everything. So I'll just bring this off camera for a second so I can take out the code. And here it is. It's just basically what the insert looks like. So nothing really too special. And then just an ad for other Paramount releases. So Quiet Place, Annihilation, The Cloverfield Paradox, and World War Z. And here is a look at the discs here on the inside so I'll just take out the blu-ray disc here so that's basically what it looks like so it's just blue to denote that it is blu-ray and yeah just overlord feature film and special features and then just all our specifications down there and just studio logos and everything like that so just basically the same thing as what you see on every single other disc but here is the DVD so it is the standard paramount gray I believe they started doing that like a long time ago but yeah there is the the DVD disc right there. So that is it for the unboxing portion of this video. So now we'll get on to the review portion of this video. So what I thought of Overlord. Hold on there. So what I thought of Overlord. I watched this not too long ago and I absolutely loved this movie. Just yeah, it's a B movie. It's corny. It's not historically accurate or anything like that. Well, of course it's not historically like historically accurate because it's got Nazi zombies in it. Of course it's not going to be accurate, but still I had a blast with this movie. Just thought it was very entertaining from beginning to end. It did manage to keep up a good pace in my opinion. I know a lot of people didn't think or thought it was really slow. I thought it moved pretty quickly for a almost two hour long movie. 
but the action scenes when they did happen, they were really good, and just when the the first part when uh, our main character goes into the lab there and he sees what uh, what experiments are doing with all of the prisoners there, I thought that was really cool. Very, it's not really a horror movie, but it's got horror elements in it. I'd say it's more of like a war kind of action thriller but not really a horror as the trailer suggested it was. But overall, I really like this movie. You know, the cast, eh, like the performances could have been a little bit better and the writing could have been a little bit better as well. But overall, I was really entertained by this movie and I absolutely loved it. I'd probably give it a 9 out of 10. Um, definitely recommend you guys watch this one. It's a really fun time, good popcorn movie, very engaging just makes you want to keep watching it and overall I just thought it was very well done especially for a kind of B-movie-ish quality. So anyway though guys that is about it for the unboxing of the Blu-ray plus DVD plus digital combo pack of Overlord. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Twitter and Instagram links will be in the description down below if you want to follow me on there. Also be sure to check out my IMDb profile page. The link for that will be also down below in the description of this video. Anyway though guys that is about it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time.